right, we're checking out Highlander. I'm excited. I've heard it has music by Queen in it, which sounds friggin' amazing. Let's do it. I don't know what this movie is. From, From the, dawn the dawn of time, of time oh. we came, living many secret lives, struggling to reach the time of the gathering. Gathering. No one has ever known we were among you until now. Ooh. Here we are. <laughs> now that's Queen. We're oh. the Highlander. I love it already. And Sean Connery. That's right. Sean Connery's in this. Okay, awesome. This is gonna be great. Songs and additional music by Queen. Oh, frig. Dang. Oh, wow. This is badass. No wonder you guys wanted me to watch this. All right, what are we at here? A wrestling match? All right. Jesus. Oh God. Well, they're no Rocky. That's for dang sure. Cool shot. What is this, like a drone? Ooh, the sound. I'm just one lone guy, not into it. <laughs> okay, wow, wow, wow. Whoa, there's a lot going on here. Memory? Hallucination? These sounds. Inglorious battle. Mysterious. He's got gloves on. Might be doing shady business. McLeod. Fazil, wait. What does he have? A sword? Sunglasses and and a sword. You just don't see that very often. Okay, sword fight in a parking garage. All right. Oh. Ooh. I wonder if this is gonna get bloody. Oh, that piano. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? <laughs> Oh frig, oh frig, oh frig. I don't know who I'm rooting for. I, I think the guy in the trench. Oh frig. Well, they're both good. <laughs> if I'm ever in a fight, I want to just backflip away. That's so cool. Okay, coolest exit ever. <laughs> really. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Somebody's getting killed here, like stabbed. Oh, the handle on that is cool. It's like all carved. I wonder what my weapon would be. I'm thoroughly enjoying the heavily orchestrated music here. Oh, up on the shadows. <sighs> Say goodbye. I didn't, I, 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 I didn't expect that. What? He cut off his head. What is this, magic? Oh god. He cut off his head! Is he floating? Wow! What is it? What? Magic time travel one! Aliens? <sighs> I can't believe he cut off that guy's head. Yeah, you're probably in big trouble. Stashed his sword for later. Remember that. That was pretty wild. What was with the blue lightning? Whoa! Cool transition! Bunch of dogs. This movie has everything. Castle! That's the same guy with the long hair? Is he a time traveler? In this year of our Lord, 1536. 1536. Bring victory to the clan McClough! Victory McClough! 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 I am Clan Murray. Are you scared, Connor? No, Cousin Dougal. Don't talk nonsense, man! I beat my kilt the first time I went into battle! <laughs> As would I. I am very interested to know why we're in 1536 and present day 1980s. Papa! <laughs> Take these claws and think of me. Remember, you fight with God on your side. You and Dougal keep him in one piece, do you hear? I will all know what piece that is! <laughs> <laughs> hey -o. All right, we're in the Scottish Islands. We got the lightning. Same guy or like ancestor? There is one called Connor among them. I Look at this guy's helmet. Remember our agreement, Murdoch. The boy is mine. Death to the McLeod! 
Oh boy, clan fight. We've already seen someone get beheaded, so I feel like this is about to get real bloody. <laughs> Just the bagpiper, that'd be me in the fight. I am a musician, not a fighter. Come on! No, that. Fight me, devil! No, that He's just watching. Devil. Fight me, you coward! No. Look at his sword! Cool sword. Nobody will fight me! The old are away. Ooh. Mother of God. Yeah, he's scary. Oh! oh. oh. No. Did he get him? Get him? He stabbed him a little bit. There can be only one! There can be only one! Everyone keeps saying that to me. He's dying. Cool transition. I'm enjoying the transitions in this movie. Meanwhile, in 1980s, cool keyboard. Driving like a maniac. Put your hands on the hood. You beheaded someone. Watch it, freak. Just cool it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Same guy or like ancestor? Come on. Get up. I'll see some ID, pal. Cloud. Well, Mr. Nash, where oh. are you going? in such a hurry. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Oh, oh. oh now he's in even bigger trouble. Going to the slammer. Don't even breathe. Cool transition. I like this shot. It's so beautiful. In nomine patri et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. Alive? Yeah, alive. It is over. Other men are dying this day. <laughs> I must attend them. Maybe magic. Quiet. Move it, Letty. He's a Highlander by God. The last sound he hears should not be that of a wailing woman. <laughs> Let him die with honor. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Give me another cool transition. Yeah! These are awesome! Did you make an arrest? No, we're questioning some guy named Nash, antique dealer down on Hudson Street. Hello, Brenda. Hey, Hello, Brenda. What do you think of the cause of death, Lieutenant, huh? <laughs> Oh, Christ, you're a oh, barrel, nice. last coffee. But really, how often do you see it beheading? Whatever made the find cut a sword? was razor sharp. That's right, from the Highlands. Oh, oh my God. Two days ago, there was a guy that was killed just like this over oh, here. Hey, Frank, come here. What do you got, Brenda? Oh, yeah, that's the enemy's guy's sword, right? A Toledo Salamanca. Ooh. A what? A very rare sword. Yeah, that's a pretty sword. Only about a million bucks. What? Any antique dealer on Hudson Street could tell you that. She knows her swords. Is he just gonna start beheading everybody? Ever see this guy before, Nash? I had his head chopped off in New Jersey two nights ago. You ever get over to New Jersey, Nash? Not if I can help it. You talk funny, Nash. Where are you from? Lots of different places. It's a Toledo Salamanca broadsword worth about a million bucks. A million dollars. You went down that garage to buy this sword from that guy. You fought about the price and cut off his head. I don't think so. This Fazil was so upset about lousy wrestling tonight. He went down to the garage and in a fit of depression cut off his own <laughs> you went down to the garage for a I just didn't want to pay for it. I don't know what they were fighting over. Is he gonna be able to fight his way out of here? Am I under arrest? Not yet. Then we're through. Dash, we're just getting started. He's not under arrest? It also left a man's decapitated body lying on the floor next to his own severed head. <laughs> <laughs> that is so brutal. I know his name. Yeah, yeah, put a tape in there. Woo! Victor... something or other. Okay, Mr. Victor Kruger, and I'm gonna hit you for 20 in advance. He's got, uh, like a scar here. Did he also get his head cut off? I don't know if there's magic in this. Maybe that's the guy from the past that got his throat slit? I don't know what's going on here, but... I like it. These electric guitars. Oof. Oh god. More swords. Cool. Cool weapon. Ah, uh, he's good. He's good. At last, the gathering. Ooh. This Hi. is all very mysterious. I'm all bruised up. Don't cut her head off. Of course you are. Cool shot. Cool transition. Pieces of metal. Found them on a dead guy under the garden, in the wound, and on the clothes. Real smooth shape. I can't be right. So I did. I like how long they're taking to explain anything to me. This is very mysterious. Metal detector. She gonna find the sword? 
Please tell me it's a sword from 1536. Who's there? This is creepy. Hey, Brenda. Usual? Lots of it. Say when. When. <laughs> yeah, leave the bottle. Double blend more and she on the rocks. It's having a sketch. Go to the garden often. What did you what say? What did you say? Hmm? Why are you asking me about the garden? Have you been following me? I'd like to walk you home, Brenda. Oh, are we going to have a love story in this? Go for it, Brenda. I can take care of myself. It's always a rainy day without you. Is she onto him? Brenda. Are you following me, Brenda? Be quiet. He knew it. Ooh. That is quite a big sword. Yes, Brenda. Nice to see you again, McLeod. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, I, I think we're time traveling here, obviously. No! I'm the only one. No! <laughs> Not a time, Highlander. Just run. I called you Highlander, what did I mean? There can only be one, only one what? Yeah, only one what? I want to know. Shut up! I want to know too. Don't you ever follow me again. You only have one life. You value it. Go home. Brenda, that's probably wise advice, but I want you to follow him. Okay, meanwhile. You saw the Wundangers. He should have died. I stay has got the devil in him. He lived. Maybe he's immortal. What's the matter, Duke? You talking and breathing last night all but a corpse. It's a miracle. Would you rather I was dead? It's not natural. You think he's a witch? He's in league with Lucifer. Don't say oh, that, Kate. You've the devil in you. That's a harsh claim. We've been kinsmen 20 years. Connor McLeod was my kinsman. I don't know who you are. Brutal. Angus, I'm you better be go, Connor. Out. I'm not going anywhere. The frig? They are treating him like a witch. Beat the devil out of him. That's brutal. You get injured, you survive, and then everyone's like, Devil! He's your cousin, man! Just punching him in the wound. There'll be no bonding here today! We'll banish him! No! Like a witch! And you walk, I'll bloody well walk out of here! And go! I'll no forget you, Angus. Yeah, he's saving his life right here. Thanks, buddy. Not all he can do. But to where? Cool transition. These are very creative. I like them a lot. I think maybe he's immortal and he lasted the whole time and now he's living in present day. Same guy, I think. Maybe. Or time travel. I'm not sure. Apologies if I should have figured this out by now and I haven't. Is this an apartment? Because wow. Okay, wow. Well, I'm building this in The Sims. This is his apartment. I love a sunken living room. They used to call them groove pits. Hi and Dale, do you want it? Hi, right now. <laughs> All right, well, he's doing okay. Well, he's very happy living the life, so something will probably happen with this girl. Oh, yeah. You can do that to me forever if you like, my lord. I blossom, I will. Something tells me they won't. Is it Angus? Oh, it's Shepard! Greetings! Oh, look at him! I am Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez. Whoa! Chief Metallurgist to King Charles V of Spain. And I'm at your service. Metallurgist? Swordsmith? What do you want? You! Look at him. You're Connor McLeod, wounded in battle and driven from your village of Glenfinnan five years ago. Oh, Connor! Hi. The lightning. Go in the house. Did you just get struck by lightning? The sensation you're feeling is the quickening. The quickening? We are the same, McLeod. We are brothers! Cool transition! The quickening? Yeah, well, there's not a hell of a lot I can do about it, pal. I need to call more people pal. Uh, the hairs in the Moretti case, uh -huh. they matched up. What did I tell you? Oh, uh, I forgot my purse. What about the metal shards? <laughs> Coolest apartment I've ever seen. The grand piano in the back would live there. A metallurgical history of ancient sword making. Uh huh. By Brenda. She's a sword expert. Sometimes, McLeod, the sharpest blade is not enough. Give me a cool transition. I don't like boats. I'm a man, not a fish. <laughs> I'm with him. I also don't like boats and water. You look like a woman, you stupid haggis. What is haggis? A sheep's stomach stuffed with meat and barley. You stupid haggis. Look at his outfit. You have no knowledge whatsoever of your potential. Now, get out! No! Brutal. He can't swim. Help! Help me! I'm drowning! 
You can't drown your fool. You're immortal. Oh, hey, he's immortal. Oh, frig. Once again, I guessed it. And everyone's going to think I've seen it already. Dang it, I got to stop doing that. So he's lasted this whole way all the way up to present. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a long time. I can cool. <laughs> So the bad guy is probably immortal to them. Is he also immortal? He said you're like me, we're brothers. It's one way to find out. <laughs> Cut off his head. Whoa! Your attack was no better than that of a clumsy child. Idiot. Hey! This cannot magic. be. It's the devil's work. You cannot die, McLeod. Accept it. Like ever? I hate you. Good. That is a perfect way to start. <laughs> Immortal Sean Connery. What I do know is that because you were born different, men will fear you, try to drive you away. He was born different. You must learn to conceal your special gift until the time of the gathering. The gathering. Cool. When only a few of us are left, we will feel an irresistible pull towards a faraway land to fight for the prize. Ah, oh, cool. Like all the immortals beings will go fight for the prize. The gathering. That's cool. That's cool. Never lose your temper. If your head comes away from your neck, it's over. He's very wise. <laughs> Idiot. He has much to learn. Never overextend your thrust. You're vulnerable and off balance. Oh, no. Just a sword fighting Sean Connery. If it came down to just us two, would you take my head? Would he? Good question. Yeah. yeah. If he is also immortal, don't they both have to fight if they're both the end? We must fight until only one remains. You are safe only on holy ground. None of us will violate that law. It's tradition. On holy land? Teaching him the ways of the sword. Now for the last. Let yourself feel the stag. His heart beating. His blood coursing. Be the stag. Come on! I feel him! You are the stag. A cloud! This is the quickening! Yes! Whoa! That rock! Just fighting on a clifftop. Bested. <laughs> Just like Rocky. Now, pendejo, shall we see what sort of swordsman you've become? On guard. Very good. <laughs> so they are immortal until the gathering? Don't! I bet everybody was so stinky at this time. But what I want is a family. You cannot have a family. We cannot have children. Oh. That won't please Heather. You are correct. It's full of life. Just grabbed her butt. She is beautiful. You must leave her, brother. Or she will never understand. I was born 2,437 years ago. Huh. In that time, I've had three wives. The last was Shakiko, a Japanese princess. Oh, wow, he's been around. Her father, a genius, made this for me in 593 BC. That's the cool carved one? When Shakiko died, I was shattered. I would save you that pain. Yeah. Please, let Heather go. Yeah, I mean, if you were immortal. But the heart wants what it wants. When we first met, you felt ill. Remember? When the McClouds fought the Frasers and a black knight. Right. I felt it then, only it was different, more painful. That black knight was a Kurgan. It's because of him that I sought you out. He's also immortal. Well, the Kurgans were an ancient people from the steppes of Russia. For mm -hmm. amusement, they tossed children into pits with hungry dogs to fight for meat. Oh, God. He is the strongest of all the immortals. He is the perfect warrior. But does he have heart? If he wins the prize, mortal man would suffer an eternity of darkness. How do you fight such a savage? With heart, faith, with heart. steel. Agreed. In the end, there can be only one. There can be only one. We're going to have to fight this Kurgan. Well, I was very much in love with her, my dear Heather. She was the only thing on my mind, not danger. This is his last wife. Oh, would you like some more wine? Yes, please. Can immortals get drunk? Uh-oh. Heather, get out. What's wrong? Uh-oh. Oh, it's, Kur it's the Kurgan. 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 Ramirez. Neither of them can be killed, right? But the girl could be killed. The Highlander. Where is he? You're too late. I've prepared him for you. He is a formidable enemy. Don't hurt the girl. Again! 
Oh, it's growling like an animal. It hurts. Get it. Bit. No, you die. die. Look at this guy. You cannot win, Ramirez. I am the strongest. My cut has improved your voice. <laughs> But they can't die. Don't hurt the girl. Don't hurt the girl. Where's Highlander? Just taking a bath. Don't hurt him! Oh! He's gonna knock down this whole house. He's very strong. Actually, though, he might he might knock down this whole house. Go look out! She's gonna get squished! This girl's killed, right? Get outside the house. Stabbed him. Uh, that was it. Oh my god, there's a staircase. Uh, yeah, I bet. Who is the woman? Don't hurt. She's mine. Uh, Don't not hurt. for much longer. There can be only one. That is it. Ah, so much beheading in this. Lightning. Whoa. Hello, pretty. Oh, frick, he's gonna kill her. Whoa. Meanwhile, in the coolest apartment ever. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about a seven foot lunatic hacking away with a broadsword? Not much. What about a Japanese sword dated 600 BC? Mm hmm. Do you cook? Why? I thought we might have dinner. Did you? Yes. Headhunter, Stock City. What are you looking at, Rachel? People are asking about you. What am I supposed to say? Tell them I'm immortal. So she knows? Oh, oh different time, different time. Oh. Don't be afraid. What's your name? Rachel. Oh. Oh, she's been with them. Yeah, and I guess over time he just doesn't change. Come with me, Rachel. Yeah, okay, I get it. Oh. <gasps> Jesus! Freaking Nazis. Every movie I watch. It's a kind of magic. Oh. Kick his butt. Let's go. Yeah, this dude's been through a lot. You can't hide your feelings from me. What feelings? How about loneliness? I'm not lonely. Yeah, right. At least he has her, though. You refuse to let anyone love you. Love is for poets. You are such a romantic, Rachel. Something tells me Brenda will steal his heart. She's got her own collection of stuff. Good evening. Do you want to dine in the hall or shall we step inside? Come in. Brenda. She's a little smitten. What did he bring her wine? Lagavulin. I like your place, Brenda. I've only been here three months. I'm still picking up. Show me a gun. You know it'll be back later. Interesting view. What did you say? I said interesting view. Isn't it great? All right, so he's onto her, but I do still think that she likes him too. You never told me what you do for a living. I work for the Metropolitan Museum in acquisitions. That explains your interest in ancient weapons. Right. Hennessy. Especially the samurai. Very nice. Shall we have a toast? Two swords. Brandy, bottled in 1783. Wow, that's old. 1783 was a very good year. You would know. Mozart wrote his great mass. The Montgolfier brothers went up in their first balloon, and England recognized the independence of the United States. He's a history buff. What's that? It's for you. You bastard. Where did you find this? Odd thing. Your bio doesn't mention the Met. Yeah, cut the crap, Brenda. It says you work for the police. Are you and Moran trying to set me up? I am not looking for a killer. I am looking for a sword. The one used on Fazil. I found pieces of it under the garden. I only want to see the samurai. Is she really only interested in that? Ash, I want some answers. And some kisses. You want? Don't you ever think about anything except what you want? That glare. You must leave her, brother. Queen. Did she leave? Heather! Just with a baby lamb. She's getting old. See, that would be so sad. Being immortal and watching someone you love die. I've never really known why you stayed. He loves you. Because I love you as much now as the first day we met. Ah. And I love you. Then she dies. I don't want to die. I want to stay with you forever. Forever. 
Will you do something for me, Connor? Never love again. In the years to come, will you light a candle and remember me on my birthday? Let me die in peace. Where are we? We're in the highlands. Where else? Running down a mountainside. I wonder how he ends up in the US. I guess if you're gonna be alive thousands of years, you're gonna travel. Oh, jeez. Good night, my buddy Heather. Did he burn down their house? Wow. I mean, he wouldn't want to stay there. Hey! Castagir. It's good to see you again. It seems like a hundred years. Yeah, would they run across other mortal beings? <laughs> <laughs> Buddies. What is it? Boom, boom. Or maybe you think I'm trying to poison you. I think you crazy, Castagir. Castagir, cool name. Time's almost caught us, my friend. Do you think we should go on? Would they I want think to? we should have a party. Oh no. I remember last time we had a party. It was 1783. The last time they had a party was 1783. Your famous duel on Boston Common. <laughs> and what was that guy's name again? His name was Sass. Christ, I've gone blind. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Wonderful song. Bassett? That you? You missed him, Mr. Bassett. <laughs> Doesn't even care. Stop, sir. I apologize for calling your wife bloated warthog. <laughs> Shoot him. Now, sir. Now, sir. In the back of the head. Now. Hot game. Oh, zigzag. This guy. Hey, Rockefeller. How'd you like candy? She said you were kind of kinky, huh? At least he didn't kill her. Don't ever speak to me. Look, I didn't know you. Oh, jeez. Don't ever speak to me again. Do you understand? Yeah listen to him. I hope you get your head chopped off, asshole. I believe he will. <laughs> Shut it! <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think head chopped off, the only way they can be killed. Right. Down. Down. What the hell? Just some alley sword fighting. Okay, Marie. Ooh, look at this his gun. Real. Are they just practicing? Let's go. Or is that the bad guy? It is the bad guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Cast again. What the hell is going on? Showed him. Cool shot with the shadows. <laughs> yep, it's definitely the head. <laughs> Won't matter, but it might slow him down a little. Is he gone? Get the F out of there. Oh, oh he's so strong. The magic. Yeah, this is like just what happened at the beginning. Is it the quickening? Uh. <laughs> Everything explodes. I'll run away from him, idiots. <gasps> oh, dude. Oh, I thought he was getting beheaded. Jump out. Mom. <laughs> Heart attack. <laughs> she should just roll right off. How you doing, kid? Okay, I guess. Yeah, I got three feet of steel crowns here, isn't good. Yeah, I'm surprised he's alive. I understand you saw the guy that stuck you, is that right? He was a little whacked. Is that him? Nope. Nope. Definitely not way uglier. It was dark in that alley. The freak was trying to kill me. I'll never forget his face. He had a scar across his neck. From an attempted beheading. Got me a 357. Got me a trunk load of shotguns. I can't protect myself. Take it easy. Yeah, he doesn't have a sword. Oh, he might. I know you guys think I'm nuts, but there's something else I gotta tell you. After he threw me against the wall, I put his bottom. Slow down. And the lightning thing in the body. Karen Joan Nash. Yeah, I remember this one. Didn't get many of these. What? Unwed mothers. Back then in Syracuse, that was a stoning offense. Oh, he's kidding. <laughs> well, she had the baby and she died. Oh, so Nash was illegitimate. Yeah, he was illegitimate for about a minute and a half. He died right after she did. I see. Okay, so he took a baby who died's identity. I, I understand. I was like, did he get born again? Okay. Going through the old deeds to Nash's house on Hudson Street, all the way back through the five previous owners to the original guy, Monty. In 1796, which was also Highlander. I found a death certificate for a kid with the same name who died at birth years before he pretended to sign for his inheritance. Right, just keeps passing it to himself. No wonder he has such a cool apartment and all those antiques. Uh. Nah. 
Spanish. There's a guy who's been creeping around since at least 1700, pretending to croak every once in a while. Pretending to croak. Leaving all his goods to kids who've been corpses for years. Sign. That's ingenious. Very smart. I'm very interested to see this gathering. There can be only one. Is he lighting a candle for her on her birthday? For you, my bunny has a happy birthday. And he never loved again. And you, Juan Ramirez. Uh-oh, not in the church, man. Let him have some time. Okay, that guy's the worst. Have some respect. Suppose if you can't die, you might have less respect for the dead. Castagir is gone. Only you and I remain. Just the two of them. He should have stayed with Castagir and like teamed up. Nice to see you, Kurgan. Who cuts your hair? Yeah. I am in disguise. Still ugly. This way, no one will recognize me. It's called the safety pins. I do. Ew, snack. What do you want? Your head and the prize. Yes, what's the prize? Ramirez's blade did not cut deeply enough. He was right about you, you were sly. Ramirez was an effete snob. A little, but still cool. I took his head and raped his woman before his blood was even cold. Oh, Frank. I see Ramirez lied. Did he really? She was not his woman. No, he's definitely gonna kill him. She was your woman, and she never told you. Perhaps I gave her something you never could. Oh, frig off. This guy is slime. Holy ground, hide on the Remember oh, what ground. Ramirez taught you. Oh, right. You can't stay in here forever. I see. You are weak, I wonder. Sanctuary. I'll be out front. And I can wait for eternity. Goodbye, McLeod. We will meet soon enough at the gathering so it's just the two of them left i wonder how many there were to start people are trying to pray you're disturbing them he cares about these helpless mortals of course he cares he died for our sins that shall be his undoing yes yeah, stay stay away from this guy forgive me i am a worm agreed ew it's better to burn out than to fade away <laughs> All right. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a dead guy named Nash. He died at birth in Syracuse, New York. Brenda's on to you. He might as well tell her the truth and fall in love. All right. Come on. All right. Spill it. Brenda can handle it. Ooh. Wow. Cool shot. I mean, yeah, his house is like a museum. What is this, a museum? This stuff must be worth a fortune. Well, what does money mean to someone who's immortal and already has the coolest house? I've been alive for four and a half centuries. Yeesh. And I cannot die. Well, everybody's got their problems. Seriously. What are you going to do with that? Take it. Gonna say stab me with it? I am Connor McLeod of the Clan McLeod. I was born in 1518 and I am immortal. <laughs> Unless he loses his head. That's brutal that he made him made her stab him. It's pretty good point. Does it heal up? Now kiss. Yeah. Huh. All right, go for it. I mean, I suppose you'd be curious about an immortal being. Brenda, it isn't gonna work. I can't get involved, not again. You know what's weird? Uh oh, uh oh. Most people are afraid to die. That's not your problem. It's got bigger problems, uglier problems. Take care of yourself. Don't lose your head. Literally, does she know? I think it's just an essay. Okay, is this it? Is this it? Back into the shadows. Oof. Uh oh, he saw this girl. Is he gonna go after the girl? Oh no. Oh no. Hello, pretty. <laughs> what is he just eating a popsicle? <laughs> what the frick? Don't hurt her. Lock the door, lock the door. Girl, call the police. Get one of your swords. I feel like the music should be scarier. Oh god, this lighting. Don't hurt her. Give her you can. <laughs> This guy's a lunatic. Okay, Frank, girl, do a barrel roll out of that car. Just running people over. I mean, she might just die. Yes, he is actually crazy. It's freaky. I can entertain myself. Your friend is a real screamer. Listen, I'll be waiting. The endless killing's driven him mad. He's already mad, I think. Even if you kill him, you're not coming back, are you? Yeah, what happens at this gathering? Sweet Rachel, you always knew this would happen. Russell Nash dies tonight. I love that he saved her as a little girl and then she stayed with him forever. And now she's older than he is. Cool shot with just this little tiny doorway. These sounds are freaking me out. All right, is this it? The big showdown? 
Oh, it is, it is, it is. Come on, kill this psycho. Save Brenda! Show me what happens at the end! If he emerges victorious, what then? What are these sounds? Hmm. Oh, fuck. Kill this ugly bastard. Yeah, yeah, I want there to be more sparks. Gotta cut off his head. Somebody's losing their head here. Mm. Oh, it just zips away. <laughs> Did you try to knock it all down? Uh oh. Oh, frick. Get him away from there. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That's not good with electricity, though, right? Oh boy, oh crap, oh no. I don't want Brenda to die. Come off his head. Oh. oh yeah, they can go underwater, that's right. Come on, Brenda, get free. <gasps> Brenda! Oh. Brenda, you need to save yourself. Oh, all this brass hole. Holy crap. Maybe she can do something to help him. This is it, this is it, this is it. Go on, go on, go on. Whoa. Ooh. Fight in silhouette. Oh. I mean, you never know. He can get his head cut off. I don't know who's gonna win. No sword, no sword. So now it ends. Brenda! Oh, Fred. Cut off his head, cut off his head. <laughs> what kept you? <laughs> All right, this is it. You're going down, ugly! Go, go, go! Yes, fight in silhouette! I love a good silhouette fight, especially a sword fight. Sparks! This is it. Got him again! Head, head, head! Ooh, it's like... Ew! I gotta chill. All these strengths. That's it, that's it, he's the last there one. There can be only one. Boom, everything blows up. Yeah. Shield your eyes, Brenda. Ah, that's cool. There can be only one. Now what? He wins. He's the winner. Holy. I know everything. This is freaking me out. Look at this demon. Maybe it was the devil. Holy shit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Didn't seem like a great prize. Is he mortal now? So, this is where it all began. Can you tell me about the prize? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a whirlwind in my head. But if I concentrate, I know what people are thinking all over the world. Oh, wow. You can read everyone's mind? What am I thinking? You're thinking whether or not you can love me. You can. I'm just like you. I can love and have children, live and grow old. So he's not immortal anymore. You never prepared me for that, you Spanish peacock. You dirty haggis. You're at one with all living things. Each man's thoughts and dreams are used to know. That's some prize. You have power. Power beyond imagination. Use it well, my friend. Don't lose your head. <laughs> there can be only one. Okay, guys, that was Highlander, and that was really crazy and very entertaining. Okay, first of all, we start off with a beheading, and that really was, I was like, um, wow. It took me a bit to figure out the situation, whether he was a time traveler or immortal or like the descendant of this guy in the past, but man, immortal being fighting to the death, the only way they could be killed is beheading. That's, it's pretty nuts. This is a very unique movie, that's for sure. I've never seen anything quite like it. Love a good sword fight. Freaking Sean Connery in that getup. I mean, 
Wow. Wow. We're making love on mountaintops and we got silhouette sword fights and music by Queen. I mean, wow, there was a lot going on in this movie. I really liked it. I mean, some people had told me that it was kind of dated, which I mean, I don't know. It does definitely feel kind of 80s, but I mean, I thought it was pretty good. The action's pretty good. I thought it was good. I thought it was entertaining. The mystery of it kind of held me all the way to the end. Just like, so what happens exactly? There can be only one. And you know, what exactly is it? It was quite mysterious. I, I really liked it. I just saw that there are sequels to this, which I have heard are not good, but I don't know. Some people told me this one was not good either. And I disagree. I think this one's very good. So let me know if you guys have any interest in checking out the sequels. This one was solid. I mean, you can't go wrong with a movie with a bunch of Queen songs to start. Man, that guy's apartment. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm gonna build it in The Sims. Very cool. Definitely fun. Very 80s. I liked it a lot. Yes. Highlander. There could be only one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.